It's taken 60 years, but Congress has finally voted to overhaul the nation's patent system. Many, including the president, saying, uh, say the revamp could spark what they say is 200,000 new jobs in the United States, but not everyone so sure. Lisa Sylvester is joining us right now with another fact check. What are you finding out, Lisa? Hi there, Wolf. Well, this is an issue that has tremendous bipartisan support, passing the Senate by a vote of 89 to 9, and it's being sold in part as a jobs bill. But some inventors who will directly be impacted by the new patent legislation vehemently oppose it. So He's been likened to a modern-day Thomas Edison. Steve Perlman has more than 100 patents. His inventions help you watch movies on your MacBook or iPhone. He invented web TV that allowed people to use their television sets to access the Internet, technology used to develop the Xbox 360. I'm not as old as I look. The technology used to reverse age Brad Pitt in the movie The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, that's another of Perlman's inventions. But Steve Perlman's current project isn't taking place in his lab. It's taking on Washington. Calendar number 87, H.R. 1249, an act to amend Title 35, United States Code, to provide for patent reform. He adamantly opposes a bill that the passed Thursday in the Senate that would revamp the nation's HR patent system. 12. Among the things the legislation would do is to change the system on who can file for a patent from first to invent an idea to the first to file on that idea. This bill is not about invention. It's not about jobs. This bill is about the destruction of the American dream. This bill is about undermining the American system of government. This bill is a catastrophe. Well, there we go. I got, uh, I got, I got, I got something there. Perlman says the new system will require young investors without deep pockets to have to file patents constantly every stage of development an expensive process which will kill many great ideas. It will make people less willing to share ideas with others. But proponents of the bill are equally passionate, arguing the U.S. patent system was long due for an overhaul. The United States is the only industrialized nation that hasn't transitioned to a first-to-file system. Under the bill, the U.S. Patent Trademark Office's budget would increase by $300 million. Proponents, including President Obama, but we can no longer stand on a 1950s patent system. And bill sponsor Senator Patrick Leahy say the additional resources will allow the agency to speed up the processing of patents and spur entrepreneurship, adding, by some estimates, 200,000 jobs to the economy. There are a lot of jobs that are being held up today because we can't move the patents through. And in my state, we, we file more patents per capita than any state in America, when we get some of these patents approved, they always create jobs. Venture capitalist Gary Lauder predicts the exact opposite will happen because investors will be less willing to bet on an idea if the patent could be in jeopardy. But let me ask a question about 200,000 jobs because some of the proponents have said this will create 200,000 jobs. Are they way off the mark with this? Absolutely. I mean, there, firstly, there is, there is no evidence that this would create any jobs. And the, if you look at the evidence from around the world, it indicates that it would lose jobs. Congressional disclosure records show big business lobbied heavily in favor of the bill called the America Invents Act. Among the larger supporters, IBM. Between April and June of this year, IBM spent $960,000 lobbying this and other issues. Johnson & Johnson, $1.3 million. Cisco, $830,000. And 3M, $1.2 million. The Coalition for 21st Century Patent Reform, a group of some of the biggest companies in the United States, hailed the vote in the Senate yesterday. They took a victory lap, saying it took six years to get here. They are now urging for the president to sign it quickly into law. Wolf? And by all indications, he will be signing that legislation into law. All right, we'll see what happens in the follow-up. Thanks very much, Lisa, for that report. Lights were out, flights were canceled, and traffic.